Hello, and welcome to A VO's Journey. My name is Anthony Pika. This show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business, sidestep all the crazy things that I seem to step on. Happy Monday. It is the 1st of February. Unbelievable. We've got Valentine's Day coming up in a couple of weeks. I'm super excited to be talking to you today about... We're going to be doing a voice acting tutorial on volume, and I've done a couple of voice acting tutorials in the past, and I thought this would be a great opportunity to do one today, starting off February, and I wanted to talk about volume. Um, the reason is, is I personally get hired a lot for video narration, commercials, but, but very um, compassionate type of pieces. Um, you know, whether it's for the environment, whether it's for uh, social causes, whether it's for um, things going on in our in the world, whether it's for products, um, whatever it's for, uh, I, I get hired a lot for it. And part of, you know, showing compassion um, when we're trying to do voice acting comes from volume. And I, I want to talk to you about volume today and just a couple of tips uh, in this tutorial to help you utilize volume to, you know, give you a leg up on your acting and hopefully make you more sellable, all right, more marketable. So when we talk about volume, I'm talking about the literal volume of my voice, how loud I am or how soft I am when I'm talking to the microphone. OK, and when we do talk about volume, we also have to talk about how close we are to the microphone and how far away we are from the microphone. So let's just get the obvious out of the way. Right. You've got something that maybe there's three. We'll, we'll do it in threes because I like three. Right. So there's we'll do three different volumes. We've got a loud volume. All right. Where we're speaking really loud. OK. And if you notice, the louder I spoke, I got further away. We've got a normal volume, which I'm kind of talking right now. I would say that this is uh, a very normal conversational volume for me. And my nose is a little stuffed up today, so I sound a little stuffed up. But um, And then the third one, the third uh, uh, volume would be quieter, would be soft volume. Now, of course, there's going to be levels in between all of those. But if we look at those three, all right, being able to utilize those three in our voiceovers can be very effective. So a lot of times when I'm using a loud voice, okay, it's either in character work where I'm screaming, where I have to show some sort of fear or excitement or, you know, being over the top about something, okay, somewhere where I have to scream. And when I'm loud, okay, I definitely need to back away from my microphone a little bit. Uh, your microphone that you have is very important. OK, because, you know, the rating on your microphone about how many decibels it can take before it overloads, that's important as well. Um, but in this particular case, being loud can help you, you know, um, market yourself in a a more um, uh, character oriented, uh, a more, uh, you know, just wildness that that we don't usually use generally commercial voiceovers all right or in the particular compassion as i was talking about we usually don't use screaming or yelling okay but that is part of volume and being able to do that will help you be more marketable because people need that in voiceovers sometimes for whatever they're doing and being able to yell if you've not tried it with a microphone without clipping without overloading it's a, it can be a challenge especially the type of microphone you have okay so that's one thing talking normal and this volume okay is generally what we do now i'm probably talking a little bit louder a little bit louder because I'm in my teaching mode. <laughs> so as I teach, I usually talk a little bit louder. Um, but generally speaking, when we're talking, our normal would be probably about 70% to 100%, which would be, you know, us rambling on talking like we're in a room with some people and we're talking to them, right? Like we're not whispering, we're talking kind of at our full voice talking, uh, not yelling, but our full voice, that would be like 100%. I would say 70% would be your normal voice talking in a voiceover, okay? And this is probably going to be your general uh, voice that you use for the majority of your voiceovers. 
But I find that myself, I really do use a lot of the lower volume, okay, the lower volume voiceovers or the lower volume style more and more. And especially, and I, I happen to be talking about compassion in this one, but especially in compassionate type pieces. All right. And, you know, it does a couple of things for me. One, uh, one, it, it allows me to um, actually, my voice lowers when I talk softer, when I'm not as loud. All right. I can actually, my voice actually lowers. Okay. And I can, um, from that volume, I get closer to the mic. And the closer you get to the mic, all right, the more intimate it feels because the volume that you hear on the other end is still audible, but it's on a quieter, softer tone. So we get that compassion, we get that feeling, that emotion that we generally don't get when we're talking at about, you know, six to 10 inches away from the microphone. So if I go to talk softer, I get closer to the microphone and I begin to talk like this. Now, of course, this microphone, I'm up pretty high. Now you can't see it, but on my meter, I'm still registering about the same amount that I am if I'm talking about six to 10 inches back. All right. And I'm actually talking at my 70 percent that we were saying before. But because of this and because I'm so close, the volume on your end is still the same. But yet you're getting this warm, intimate feel. All right. And that's what I'm trying to talk. See, now I'm talking back at about say, about 10 inches away at this point from my microphone and I'm looking at my meter and it's the same volume on your end. But yet it's a completely different feel. OK, and this is what I wanted to, to, to relate to you today. Use this. Practice this. Get with your microphone. Turn on your DAW. Start recording different volumes closer to the microphone, farther away from the microphone. OK, and then once you feel comfortable doing these different volumes and different types of um, styles or presentations, start to record some samples of you doing things differently. All right, with it being softer, with it being louder, and then add those to your DIY demos or whatever you're doing and start promoting it. And you will find that people are looking. And I promise you, because you know, I do I'd say about 75 to 80 percent of all the work I do, and I do about a hundred to 150 voiceovers every month, okay. About 75% to 80% of those for me are all compassionate, all lower tone, people wanting that type of style. So I can, I promise you, there's a lot of work out there. People are looking for that. All right. And they're looking for people who can do that convincingly. So hopefully this video has helped you today and uh, please take a moment to like, subscribe, uh, share this video with someone. And also, if you haven't gotten a chance to check out our Fiverr Elite, uh, we are a group that's for beginners, people who are just starting out on Fiverr, people who have been on Fiverr for a while, people are trying to just grow their business on Fiverr. This is a great group that you can join. We meet Wednesdays and Saturdays. Our whole goal is to help each other grow business, grow our Fiverr business, uh, our voiceover business in general. General, through analytics, through co uh, coaching, voice acting, coaching, marketing, um, your, your, your technical aspect. We do a lot of technical work to help people with their DAWs and stuff. There'll be a link below if you're interested uh, in joining the group, or you can check it out on aviosjourney.com. And as always, it is a pleasure. Happy Monday. I hope this helps. You have a wonderful week. Talk to you later. Goodbye.